Hi folks, it's me Hannah. Hey. Okay, I am doing some packing here at um, this time. That's because I am planning to move to a different apartment. Packing time can be plenty of fun, especially when some things come out that may have a little story attached to it yep so yeah then i could like talk about that story a little bit in the video that's right mm. so in 2016 i moved to this apartment april of 2016 um i'm not sure how i actually did it but um I guess I actually did it. I moved the whole apartment myself. Yep. Uh, the moving van, um, a renting place. The guy there who had helped me with my moving years ago, he wasn't feeling well, so he couldn't help me that time. And I couldn't find another big strong man to help me, so. Um, I figured, you know, I could just do the whole moving by myself. Yep. And so I did. Um, from my wooden dining table, pretty heavy, uh, to my entertainment center, to my fridge, my furniture. Yeah. And including this little bed that I'm sitting on right now. So Ikea uh, fold, fold chair bed thingy um, yeah and of course all the electronics and stuff I did it yeah um, I had a little bit of a trouble when I got to this apartment getting the fridge upstairs because the fridge by the time I was already feeling pretty tired and I I found that the fridge was weighing a few pounds up, um, over my maximum uh, capacity um, at the time and so I uh, took out my tools and removed the doors uh, downstairs here at this apartment brought the doors up the doors weren't too heavy but just heavy enough to like you know um, add weight to the fridge uh, beyond my maximum capacity at the time. Yep. So I got the doors up upstairs and then I went back down and tried it again with the dolly and I was able to uh, bring the fridge up the stairs to this apartment successfully. Yep. So, but this time I am not going to be able to move the whole apartment by myself. Um, yeah, and the reason being, I cannot lift heavy stuff at this time. Yep, I'm still recovering from surgery. And my stamina is not at normal Hannah, le Hannah, normal Hannah levels at this time. Yep, so yeah. Let me show you something really quick. Um, it's my little uh, foldable chair bed that I got from Ikea in 2003. Yep. Um, it's really, really cool because once it's flat, um, I could kind of like place a chair at the head and get the, uh, the head portion to lift up a little bit and just right um for my dilation here yep. the mattress is foam and it's not very thick and um i like it that way i actually prefer uh, this mattress over like spring mattresses here yep. it's really really comfortable um, comfortable to sit on and also comfortable to sleep in yeah and also of course comfortable to watch like binge watch our TV shows, you know, and stuff.
Don't touch me. Um, I bought a movie during my Henry days. I bought the movie because there was a scene about um, a penis getting cut. Um, don't ask me why. Um, I suppose testosterone plus displaced gender dysphoria equals really creepy movie watching habits. That's right. Please don't touch me. Okay, so during my Henry days, I was trying to um, keep my gender dysphoria at bay and one of the things I was doing was closet dressing um, and another thing I was doing was watching uh, movies and shows uh, that involved gender transitioning. Yep, so when I saw this show on uh, the streaming anime channel that I was subscribed to at the time. I just couldn't resist getting a copy of it, so I got a copy of it. It's a story about um, a boy who was in the woods one day and got struck by an alien spaceship, but the aliens were really nice aliens, so they were able to rescue him, but they weren't able to rescue his male genitalia, so they turned him into a girl and released him back into his habitat as a, as a girl. And so, yep, yeah, that's how the story starts out. And then it's basically about how, um, about her navigation through life, you know, as a, as a girl. And yeah, uh, don't ask me how the story ends because I have only finished watching season one and part of season two because that was during my Henry days and whenever I tried to watch it, I kept getting horny and I had to stop. Now I can watch all three seasons without getting horny. Maybe. So on a little less kinky note, I want to show you something real quick that just came out of the TV stand. It's, um, uh, um, it's a um, survival kit, a voice pack, a finding your female voice. So, yeah, uh, this kit's produced by a transgender woman, and I bought it on Amazon.com. Um, this kit has helped me significantly in my finding my own female voice yep link in description <coughs> this thing feels like it weighs a ton better this way. Yeah. I probably should have raised it this way. There. Better? Better. Um, it's kind of like playing Tetris with books. There. There. Yep. Hi, getting there. You know how, like, um, I'm sure you've heard of people telling you know, saying hoarding is not a good thing. Well, I'm not a hoarder, but 
over time, like, um, there are these little things, you know, end up building up. So, yeah, things like a gear from my massager and stuff. And I was keeping it, you know, so that I could um, maybe like, draw it on CAD and print it. Um, 3D printed with like a better material and you know what I think I'm going to keep it at least for now okay maybe I'm a little bit of a hoarder Just getting rid of some like old manuals and stuff and this little piece came up wow yeah Henry would have been majorly turned on by the, um, the eyeshadow Yep. That's strange, right? I mean, now that I'm a um, woman and it's like, I think she's attractive, but at the same time, like, eyeshadow is nothing new to me. Uh, so it's not like an alien thing that's attracting me. It's, it's a picture of an attractive woman. Yep. So, all right. Um, yeah, probably from like a magazine or something. But this, this little um, piece here, and this little part kind of caught my attention. Every woman has her own special allure. It can be found in a glance, a movement, a voice, a face across a crowded room. Wherever allure exists, it is unmistakable and irresistible. And like a perfect memory, it lasts forever. I mean, this could easily apply to outside of perfumes. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, every woman has her own special allure. It can be found in a glance, a movement, a voice, a face across a face across a crowded room. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, after all these years, I come just off today. I had to take some um, Benadryl, a full dose, um, antihistamines, because I was experiencing allergy symptoms, um, the kind of allergy where the blood, blood vessels stricken and um, symptoms, uh, itchinesses, especially in like, in like tissue areas that had had prior surgery, um, in my case last night, mystacosis areas and areas with, with like thick strands of hair um, and in my case near mysticosis area yep so the thick strands of hair were feeling like alien pins stuck in my skin and yeah the itching was nuts um, the my logical ability was reduced uh, my situational awareness was reduced and so yep um, I was finding myself like kind of rubbing the area at first and then when the itching spread it uh, to the other side that's when I remembered allergies and so I traced back like possible possibilities right right so I traced back to my uh, treating my treating the bathroom at this apartment with bleach earlier in the day yesterday yep so yeah so anyways um i took penetral a whole caplet and with a whole, whole like mug full of water so for the ear dilation i like to um take a shower first and I didn't want to take shower after the EM dilation because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the cleaning, the medicine there and stuff. 
so that's why like i'm like okay uh breakfast first and then uh do the showering and then after showering i can do the dilation yeah so yeah and then dilation that's an hour-long dilation so um in actuality it might be a few minutes less a few minutes more yep so yeah so if the time's like 10 o'clock right now i'd probably be done like 11 30 and that's like a whole morning pretty much just spent already so yep so that's why i'm like man i woke up late uh today yep. so yeah okay <laughs> So, um, I got rid of a lot of, like, uh, stuff so that I didn't have to carry that stuff to my new apartment. Um, yep. And they were just, like, stuff. So, like, the old vases, you know, I had brought back home from my mom's gravesite. Um, and stuff, and then also some like uh, paper tower cores that I had saved in in the hamper. Uh, don't ask me why. I don't even know the reason why myself. So yeah, well they were really nice quality, like thick and long cores. No puns intended. Um, so I was saving them. You know, I figured I could use them for. Um, projects and stuff like home projects and stuff like um, maybe like if I needed to reinforce a box or something I could use that yeah so anyways um, they're 12 inches and yeah boxes you know if I had a 12 inch box I could place them in the corners and it's a nice reinforcement and I did use like for similar uh, cores as like uh, sp speaker spacers under my big wooden speakers here so yeah this is a rental property and i didn't want to spend extra money you know buying a stand so and i wanted to keep the uh, speakers separate from the carpet yep so this, this was what i did Gonna move the speakers and I'll show you. Right. Okay, so there, two cores. Less, right? Right. Nice and sturdy enough, and and it helps keep the speaker separate from the the carpet, like the apartment's carpet, uh, not this carpet. This burgundy carpet's my carpet, so it's nice and clean. Yep. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm not saying the carpet's dirty, but um. And the um, the other idea was. These speakers are big, so um, they can produce some bass and um, the spacing can help kind of attenuate some of the vibrations going through um, to the floor. I want to show you something really quick. I want, I want, I want to show you my little, I want to show you my little uh, dumbbell set. It's really, really cool. It's so portable. Um, when I used to travel for work, and if I were traveling by car, I used to take this little kit with me so that I could work out in the hotel rooms. Yep. Um, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip the camera over. So, this is a dumbbell. And... Is 
that neat or is that neat? That's the um, one and a quarter pound, um, two and a half pounds. Okay, so now crowbar. The difference between the curl bars is uh, the end screws and the sets and screws is that the sets and screws have like a um, little um, little washer. Helps the screws from getting loose, you know, um, e easily. <coughs> It's probably going to be uh, at least about a couple of months before I can do any kind of like workout. That's what I'm expecting. Maybe I'd be able to do workout sooner than that, but yeah. A sorry surgery is a major surgery and I'm not I'm not taking chances. I want Miss Tickles to like recover fully. Here. Nice little kit. Yep. So I'm in my bedroom trying to clean up the mess Henry had done during my Henry days. the same person but Henry during her days uh, Henry during his days he was a bit of an organized freak and for some reason he liked to save little boxes and receipts and stuff and even during his like even like during his uh, job searches and stuff, job descriptions, he liked to print them, and obviously he liked to save them, and to me, you know, um, looking at that from Hannah's perspective, new wiring, new wiring, sentimental stuff like puzzles that my mom played during the chemo days and yeah um, some of them the writings in there and so I just couldn't seem to find it in my heart to get rid of those puzzle books and stuff. I think that's reasonable. I think that's well 
75 new puzzles and extra big grids. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I had a silly sense of humor going back then. So um, it's ringing. Fully um, extracted a bunch of useless paperwork out of the suitcase that I could shred tomorrow. Yeah, mission successful. Then, uh, productivity. Yeah with the relocation uh, to the new apartment. Got the keys to the new apartment. Yep. And Stars' uh, parking area is so nice and clean and private. Um, yeah, I like it very much. Yep. So the apartment is a corner unit and it's got a nice little private balcony um, and it's like right below my apartment uh, there are no other it's not another apartment which is really really cool um, and yeah stars's parking is directly below my apartment so yeah which is really really cool yeah um i like that i like that a lot uh, so now, in the middle of the night, I can um, do video blogs or I can do typing, whatever, you know. I don't have to worry about bothering my downstairs neighbors and stuff. And the place has a fitness center, so I can take advantage of that. And it's got a swimming pool. That's what I'm looking forward to, too. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to. I'm using it, that apartment. Uh, the swimming pool, yep. So, um, yeah, mystical is feeling better, but I have to stay out of the water, but that doesn't mean that I cannot hang out um, next to the swimming pool. Yeah, I can get a cute little swimsuit and I can go there and just hang out. Yeah, you know, especially after SRS, I want to wear like, sexy outfits you know, and swimsuit is swimsuit but then you know 
I still like to wear sexy outfits, so yeah. Okay, so I'm feeling really, really hungry right now. And I'm having fish and chips for beverage. beverage. I'm having uh, soy milk. Yep. And for those of you purest uh, fish and chips folks out there, you might cringe about my having fish and chips with Thai hot sauce. Yep, Thai hot sauce. Because I was missing Kamal Hospital stuff and the environment there so much. I, when I found this hot sauce um, and it's made in Thailand, I just had to get it. Yep, and I love hot sauce. I am able to eat spicy food again. So this time, um, well, um, next time I visit Thailand, I can enjoy the local food. Yep. And I'm trying to add turmeric into my diet. Because rumor has it that turmeric has anti-inflammation and anti-microbial um, properties. Yeah, so there. Don't quote me. I'm just saying rumor has it. Yep. Excuse me. Okay, there, I think that's enough mustard. All right, for this um, serving. Feeling much better now. It's hard to concentrate while feeling hungry. That's right. So um, I'm expecting the movers to come in tomorrow. Um, and yeah, they're kind of expensive and they charge per the hour. So I, and there's a three hour minimum. Um, so I am planning to, um, to just let them do the heavy stuff that I'm unable to carry at this time. Yep, smart, right? Smart, yeah. So, yeah, and, yeah, and then, which also includes my boxes filled with books. That's right, books. Yep. Anyways, uh, right now it's time for my dilation. So, yeah, um, hour long dilation. Um, yeah, by the time I'm, I'm done with dilation, yeah, that's, I think that's just the right amount of time between the fish and chips and my physical activity this evening, yeah. So, I have just gotten back from my new current apartment. Uh, to my old current apartment. Yep, the leases kind of overlap by about a week. So um, that gives me time to do the things that I need to do at my old apartment. Yep, um, old current apartment, um, this apartment. So, yep, um, got a lot of things done. I'm expecting tomorrow morning to be a bit packed. Um, Effect, meaning I need to wipe the fridge and I kind of postponed that so tomorrow morning I'm going to have to wipe the fridge 
and that way it doesn't look too embarrassing. It's not too bad, it's just the door handles, you know. Um, and the door basically on the inside, it's just like uh, some like um, some some like sauce spillage inside that I hadn't had a chance to clean yeah yet hmm? or oh, as of this time. So yeah, this should be pretty easy. I I could just, I could probably just spray some water on it and just yeah um the stains should just be able to come right off and for the door handles i can probably use oven cleaner and just um yeah that that's that stuff's pretty strong stuff yep so yep i got gloves at home and i shouldn't try to breathe that much fumes yeah that should be just shouldn't be too bad and i have to take the bedside table out of the bedroom to the living room I could probably push it outside. That way it's simple, right? Right, uh, for the movers um, to access the, the items and that way things could get done a lot quicker and yeah, more efficiently, yep. Um, and then my makeup table. At my new current apartment, the makeup table is going to become um, a TV stand which is actually what it's actually designed to be, a TV stand. Yep. So, yeah. Um, I, yeah, I'm not planning to take my current TV stand with me. It's too big and it's too bulky and heavy. And yeah, so, yep. Um, which is really, really cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, um. I've got like a five shelf bookshelf, uh, the big black book bookshelf, but the way that shelf's kind of designed, uh, it's in like two pieces, like top shelf piece and the bottom shelf piece, like bottom half and the, and the top half. Um, the design's, design's okay, you know, um, but shipping wise it's it's fine when i brought it from the store uh but it came in a nice neat tiny little box um but for shipping i don't think that shelf's gonna survive any kind of shipping like yeah maybe i'm wrong but the way it's designed uh it's it's held by four little studs between the two halves and that's it. And so the studs are not going to survive. And the back uh, plate, it's like cardboard. It's not going to be able to hold the whole shelf um, during shipping, especially like shipping, you know, um, um, using a moving truck, like a bumpy moving truck. Yep. Yeah, so I... I am planning to just leave this shelf here because there's no point. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, getting late here, a little bit past midnight. Um, probably going to just uh, munch on something really quick with soy milk and go to bed. All right. Um, yeah, my voice is also going a little bit deep and like, so, okay. Uh, at night. I'm recording from my new current apartment and um yeah I'm feeling really really sleepy. Well, last night I ended up sleeping at about 3 a.m. I got back home about midnight and I was feeling hungry so I had something to eat and then I still had to do my PM dilation from yesterday so I did that. Uh, it was a one hour dilation session um, and by the time I was done with that it was like close to 3 a.m. in the morning. Yep. So yeah and then as a precaution I took Benadryl uh, and his means because I didn't want to 
itch, you know, during the night time. Um, in like the, especially in like Miss Tickles' like recently healed areas. Yep. So, yeah. Um, I am feeling really, really sleepy right now. Still feeling a little flushed. And I just realized something. I did not take Mr. T um, today. Testosterone, you know? Mr. T is my testosterone cream um, supplement thingy. If you're wondering how I'm applying the testosterone, testosterone supplement cream um, in the absence of Mr. Wiggles, because when Mr. Wiggles was there, um, I was applying the cream on Mr. Wiggles' uh, undershaft. Yeah. But now, in the absence of Mr. Wiggles, on Miss Tickles, I'm applying the testosterone cream on the Mons pubis. Yep, the pubic mount. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm feeling really, really sleepy right now. And I'm going to apply the testosterone supplement cream in a little bit, Mr. T. Um, and yeah, I, as far as the moving, um, I have been able to bring over many items already. Um, Um, yeah, the religious books um, and the uh, uh, kitchen, kitchenware and the and the and the clothes stuff, you know, in the closet, um, and a few miscellaneous items um, seem to be about all that's remaining there at the um, the old current apartment at this time. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm calling it the old current apartment because the lease is still active until like Friday this week over there. And the lease is already active over here. So I kind of set it up that way because I figured, you know, after um, getting the heavy moving done um, yesterday with the movers um, it was going to be just me you know doing the moving and there's only so much I can move in a day and there's only so much I can like there's only so much star can carry per trip yep so yeah, so having a few extra days um, is actually quite helpful. Yep, and yeah. So, what else? What else? Um, the plan is this evening, well, it's already evening. I am planning to set up my computer here. In in a, in a in a few minutes, I'm planning to uh, visit the old my my old current apartment um, and bring back a few items, uh, including over the yep yeah. So that's the plan. Um, either tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm planning to do to to get the vacuuming done. And once the vacuuming done, then I can just roam, roam about. The so that's the plan. Um, either tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm planning to do to to get the vacuuming done. And once the vacuuming done, then I can just roam roam about the the place, the apartment. Uh, I can just roam about inside the apartment, um, barefooted. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm really, really feeling sleepy and I think I should apply the testosterone cream now. 
Okay, so um, the place is practically empty now. Um, I Okay, so I'm planning to take uh, my vacuum cleaner there to my new apartment today, but I, I was feeling like, you know, it was a little dirty uh, to take it aboard Star and to take it to my new apartment. Yeah, so um, I figured I'd clean it a little bit. Yep, so at first I was just planning to just wipe down the vacuum a little bit, you know, um, and stuff. And on the bottom, um, I was just planning to like spray some cleaning solution on the carpet. Um, and just just vacuum that area to kind of clean the road a little bit. But then I flipped the vacuum over to take a look and I found like this stuff. Yeah. Um, yep, and then there were some strands of hair, you know, on the rotor and stuff. So I figured uh, might as well do do the job correctly and so properly. So I removed the rotor and I just cleaned the rotor. So now it's nice and clean. Yep. And then, yeah, so there's the, uh, the vacuum under the under side and there's the belt. So yeah, the belt still looks um, in, in decent shape so I don't have to replace the belt at this time although I do have an extra belt yep so yeah so I'm planning to uh, clean this tidy this up this up a little bit and um, wipe the area down with some uh, simple cream simple cream yep um, the factory is right here like a few miles away yeah I yep uh, this video not sponsored, uh, neither sponsored nor endorsed by Simple Cream there. But I've used the products um, for years, yeah, and it's amazing stuff. So, okay, so that's the plan. Um, yep, yeah, the, the vacuum, you know, it's um, the, the carpet at the new place. The carpet at the new place, it's like long strands and so beautiful and so nice to walk on. And Star, of course, you know, Star is my car. And I don't want to take this vacuum like dirty, you know, on Star. So, um, yeah, I didn't, I don't want to get Star like dirty and stuff. So, yep. And the new carpet at and the carpet at my new place dirty and stuff so yeah so that's one of the reasons why i'm cleaning this yep yeah cool uh and then after this i think i'm going to run the vacuum a little bit uh to just suck all this stuff in, into the existing bag and then i'm going to replace the bag and then i'm planning to take the vacuum that way nice and clean yeah that's right that looks much better. Okay, so now this I can feel comfortable uh, in taking a board star. Nice and clean. Yep. And the blue section, I took it off and I washed it. Yeah. Ta-da! This boomerang, I bought it with my pocket money when I was, oh, I'm not sure, um, about 10 years old, yeah, from a store in Sydney, Australia, yep, cool. Then we had a uh, souvenir at home, um, a little piece, you know, of um, the Sydney Bridge 
with the uh, Opera House and this is where this came from but not sure what happened to the rest so yeah <sighs> so this boomerang I tried and tried throwing this boomerang and it just wouldn't want to come back so maybe this boomerang's kind of like me oh. This apartment, I have no intentions of coming back. But this boomerang is coming with me because it's my boomerang. It says Australian made. I'm sure you've seen this before. Here. I don't think this small meter will survive it if I pull it off. Maybe it will. Oh, cool. My thermometer. There's another thermometer. And I'm sure you had seen this sign before if you had watched um, that previous video of mine. Firstly, the thermometer. So, oh, it's thermometer is already broken, so I think I'm just gonna toss it in the garbage. Okay. I like the thermometer because. It also showed humidity levels. All right. Ready for the sign? Ta da! This bathroom is no longer a ladies' room. And three. Two, one, zero. So, this little sign is mine, and I'm planning to post it. I don't know if I can post it next to the bathroom at my new apartment. Hmm. Okay, so um, I have successfully completed the relocation. Yeah, now I can focus on setting up the computer and the, um, the stereo system and stuff, which is really, really cool. And once I get the computer set up, I can focus on the uh, job searches and once I get the job situation all set, all set, all set, I can invest in a nice dining set. Yeah, I got plans, and it's got plans, that's right. So, yeah, um, I am really, really happy and I already got my dilution center all set up at this apartment, um, which is really, really cool. I'm going to show you a picture of it real quick, which is really, really cool. 
Yeah. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Timing was uh, quite critical in the yeah in the relocation thingy in this relocation thingy <clears throat> because before I didn't have to worry about dilation and stuff, but now dilation's there and I had to make sure that my my medicines and my bed and stuff, you know, um, is set up properly. And once the bed was here, um, I could no longer do my dilations at my um, old current apartment anymore. So, yep. So here, um, I, yeah, got nicely set up. Okay, so this may sound weird to you and or strange to you. Uh, typically, right, um, at least in the U.S., patients upon returning home, generally speaking, I'm sure there are exceptions, but generally speaking, the last thing that patients uh, tend to want to think about is the hotel that they stayed in during the surgery, right? Right. But in my case, um, the Key Garden Hotel in Bangkok, Thai, Thai, Thailand, the Key Garden Hotel, uh, Kamal Hospitals, this hotel that I stayed in during my SRS tr surgery trip. When I got back here to California, I was finding myself missing that place. Well. One of the reasons was I was missing the staff there. They were just amazing from housekeeping to the, the nurses there, to the front desk, to the general manager, the hotel's general manager there. Simply amazing. Yep. Um, and I really enjoyed my stay there. And then of course, the 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 hotels side of things like uh, the building side of things in the hotel room that I stayed in um, post surgery there was a certain scent to the hotel room and the flooring there was a certain texture to the flooring and uh, the lighting, there was a certain warmness to the lighting, so soothing. And then there was this bathroom, uh, the countertops, like um, a black resin countertops. And then when I turned on the, the faucet in the bathroom, the water didn't sound like angry water. I know it's that's the best way I could describe it. The water was actually like friendly, like it was like don't worry, you know, um, I'm friendly water. Um, yeah, I'm no threat to you. There was that kind of a vibe about the water and the sound that the faucet was making, you know, there was this certain something about that sound that was feeling quite soothing and yeah and then of course the toilet uh, it wasn't an angry toilet you know it was such a gentle flush and it was so nice it was a well controlled gentle flush yep um yeah i um uh, I was missing those things and at my old current apartment well, the lease over there is 
still active at this time until the 16th of this month so yeah so it's still my current apart is still the lease is still current but i guess i'm calling it my old current apartment at this time yep this apartment is my new current apartment or simply speaking my current apartment yeah so when i got back to california or orange county california when i got back to that apartment my old current apartment things were different there like the water um there was a certain angry vibe about the water the sound that it was making sounded like it was out of patience with me you know uh, uh, sounded like it had run out of patience with me um here the the scent at that apartment it was not welcoming um yeah it's it um it was definitely different from k garden the kamal hospitals hotel yep but when i got to this apartment immediately immediately i noticed uh, the scent very similar to the scent at the hotel room in k garden yep and then when i turn on the light um, the lighting here that's built in mm -hmm. to this apartment there's a certain warmth a certain certain a certain soothing soothingness to the lighting very similar to the lighting at Cape Garden uh, from my hotel room to the lobby to the dilation center it's very similar um a very similar warmth and here yeah, um a very similar warmth and um the, the brightness um to the lighting at Cape Garden yep yeah. and then the countertops here the the black resin countertops very similar to the countertops at K Garden and then when I turn on the the faucet at my vanity uh, sink here at this apartment from the sound of the faucet to the texture of the water is just so similar to Key Gardens um, faucet in the hotel room that I stayed in. Yeah, it's like the the faucet here is like. Don't worry, I'm not angry. Um, I'm not angry water. Uh, I'm friendly water. That kind of thing, and such a nice feeling, yeah. So, yep, I am definitely looking forward to um, my stay here at this current apartment. And um, yeah, once I got my job situation all squared away, I'm planning to get some like. Uh, dinnerware like dining plates set and stuff yeah and cool yep so um relocation my relocation to this apartment successfully completed that's right yes. Firstly, this sign. Love 
lives here. Beautiful. Look. Look. This here. Secondly, I shall now mark the bathroom at this little studio as a women only bathroom. No men are allowed to use it while Hannah is residing at this studio. That's right. Yeah. Ready?